My name is Joy and welcome Hi. to Trial and Error. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to share and comment. I really would love some more comments so that we can get this ball rolling and discuss all the different things that are going on in this world today and in the video. Um, for my subscribers that I have so far, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for supporting me and continuing to support me. Hopefully we get to at least the 50 subscriber, um, milestone and, um, that would be great. It would be great. Um, just pretty much just taking it easy. You know, I just started my YouTube channel and I really thank y'all for, you know, supporting me. Um, today, oh, I also wanted to take a time before I forget. I wanted to take um, out time to say that I also make YouTube shorts. I have a lot of YouTube shorts. Those are not really um, anyway according to relationship or dating or anything like that. I think I have one of them that's split up for why women fake orgasms. That one is split up into different sections for YouTube short. But other than that, all the other shorts are mainly just different affordable clothes that you can put together and wear and from different affordable places very affordable places because i know these days with inflation and everything you want to look nice in certain events and dress up but the prices are so high i just posted some places and some outfits where i got them from that you can also shop at so i love making those videos so that's what that's what my youtube shorts are about but anyway moving along so today um we're going to talk about being realistic and not settling, not settling, but being realistic too at the same time. We always talk about not settling. I don't want to settle. This person doesn't have what I want. I don't want this. You know, this is what I want and I feel like I should get what I want. Correct. However, you have to be realistic about it. It's one of my worst, the worst things and I know it, I know it, but it's hard for me to to be realistic so i make a list and there's a list of all these things whether it's within your mind or literally a list of things that you want in a man or a woman and you look for these things every time that you go on a date or you get involved with somebody and they might not check all these boxes but they maybe have three out of the ten so you continue to date them because they got three out of ten then you meet somebody else, and that person might only have one or two out of the ten. But it's one or two things that that other person that only has three doesn't have. So now you start dating them, and then you start becoming the serial dater, and you're dating all these people to make up your list that you have. We have to be realistic. There's just certain things that we put on this list that are just, it, it's going to be hard to get and still have with everything else on. You're not going to get everything that you want in one person. And it's hard to accept it. It's hard to just know that that's the way it is, but that's just the way it is. And the sooner that you learn to accept that, the better. Um, now, I'm not saying just settle and just, you know, person got one thing on your list. Ooh, ooh, let me just go ahead and be with that person. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is there are certain things that you should be able to compromise with. Like for me, if everybody, if the person, if I meet somebody and they check off, everything on my list except for one thing like maybe the height maybe they're five seven and a half because i'm five eight maybe they're five seven and a half and they're not taller than me but they check everything on my list i'm going to go ahead and give that person a chance it would be ridiculous for me to just be like oh you're too short you're out like that's crazy especially if they have everything else that i want it's crazy now let's say maybe they don't have a really good career or not even a really good career. Maybe they don't have a job established a job. Like you got to have a, some type of stable job to be able to provide a man is supposed to provide. He's supposed to lead. You know, he's supposed to protect. If you don't have a stable job and I don't feel secure with you, why makes no, absolutely no sense. Now that, that is reasonable. You can, you can say no for that reason. But because he's shorter, now I'm not saying extremely short, but like five, seven and a half, I'm five, eight. He got everything else. Look, I'm not saying get what you can get, but 
we, we're very picky. We are very picky as women. Men, not so much, but we're very picky as women. Now, this does go for men too as well because I know certain men that won't date a woman if they don't meet a majority of their stuff either. Like, we just have to be realistic. You know, maybe she she's not a virgin. How many of us are these days? There's not many that are. Like, there's just certain things that you just have to be realistic about and let go. So I was thinking I had it on my mind, you know, because I was talking to a friend today about, you know, hey, I met this guy. He has everything that I want. And, you know, maybe like there's certain things that are missing that I just don't feel like I can uh, compromise with. Like, for instance, you might meet a guy that doesn't have kids and I have kids. Like, am I willing to compromise with that? Because I don't want to intercept or ruin his chance of meeting somebody that's going to give him these kids that he wants. Or let's say I meet a guy and he has everything going for him. He has everything, but he's, I'm not attracted to him. And he has all these other things that are great, but I'm not attracted to him. I can't do it. I can't be with you. If I'm not attracted to you, I'm not going to be able to be with you sexually the way that I want to. I'm not going to be able to introduce you to my friends as my man. I don't want to be ashamed of whoever I'm with. So, like, those things are, you know, are things that, hey, not to settle for. If you feel like you're going to be ashamed and you can't introduce this man that you're talking to to friends, then don't settle for that. If you, if he has kids, if he doesn't have kids or you have kids and there's no way that you can give him kids and he's not willing to go without having kids or accepting the situation for what it is, that's not something to settle for. But something as simple as height, depending on how short to you, to you, or maybe he doesn't make $100,000 a year, but he make fifty dollars to $60,000 a year. And he can still support you, keep you happy. You know, you ain't living the life of the rich and famous, but he can still take care of you and support you. And, you know, he checks everything else. Come on, let it go. You know, you, you just, you, you have to be realistic. You have to be realistic. And I just wanted to share this real quick video with y'all about being realistic and um, being intentional when you're dating. And find out these things beforehand. So that you don't waste your time and you don't waste that man's time or you don't waste your time or you don't waste that female's time. Um, and that's pretty much all I wanted to share in this video. Uh, I'll hopefully make another one tomorrow or maybe another one after this. I don't know. But thank you for um, continuing to support me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And also please leave your comments about what you think in the comments below. Um, I appreciate everything that y'all have done as far as continue to support me. And I hope that my channel begins to grow and I get more great subscribers. Thank you. Been great and continue to be great. My name is Joy and thank you for joining me on